hi guys in this video we will talk about q and we will have a look at the programming of q now so basically q is a linear data structure which works on the principle of first in first out so basically which the element which comes in first it goes out first now we will have a look at the operations of q so the first operation is nq which means addition of elements so if my q is empty so the first element which will be added for example here i have added 10 it will come at the first position now if you want to add second element it will come after 10 and if you want to add third element it will come after 20 here we have used the front and rear indexes to indicate the position of the queue uh, of the indexes this will help in the programming part of the queue now the second operation is dq which means deletion of elements here uh, for example if my queue is uh, full and now the first element which will be deleted will be 10 because 10 was uh, the first element that was added in the queue remember queue works on the principle of first in first out so 10 was added at the first time so it will be deleted first as well now the second element that was added was 20 so 20 will be deleted after 10 and at last 30 will be deleted here we have used front and rear for the programming part to indicate the indexes of the queue now we will have a look at the program of the queue so now if we take a look at the program uh, here we have defined uh, max equal to 3 that means our queue will have a maximum of 3 elements and here uh, we have taken 2 integers rear and front to indicate the indices of the queue now here is the main program in which there will be a list for the menu option whether the user want to insert the element in the queue or delete the element or display the element in the queue now here in the insert function there is a condition if rear equal equal to max minus 1 now here initially my the value of rear is minus 1 as you can see from here <clears throat> we have taken integer uh, as minus 1 as well and here we have taken max as 3 so 3 minus 1 so this condition does not fulfill so the q over flow will not happen and here after this there is a condition front equal equal to minus 1 that means uh, initially there is no element in the queue so the front will be equal to, uh, to 0 because we are adding an element in the queue and uh, the front equal to 0 will help us to delete if we want to delete the element that we have added first so here uh, when we add the element here we will increment the value of rear to plus 1 now as you can see from here in the diagram here we, the value of rear becomes equals to 0 and the element 10 is added into the queue similarly the element uh, 20 30, and 30 will be added in the queue and the value of rear will be incremented to 1 so the first uh, the value of rear will become 1 and then it will become 2 now in the delete function um, here we have a condition if front equal equal to minus 1 now here uh, the front is not equal to minus 1 as we have set it as 0 so it is not equal to minus 1 and front is great or front is greater than rear here our front is 0 and value of rear is 2 so this condition both condition does not fulfill so the queue is not empty so it will come in the else condition and here in the else spot here the first element will be deleted will be 10 because the value of front is 0 as you can see the, we have uh, done here value of front is 0 and here uh, the at the 0th position it, we have 10 so the element 10 will be deleted similarly the rest of the element will be deleted one by one and here in the display function we have just uh, displayed the queue now if we run this program so here so here you can see I have got the option for inserting deleting or displaying elements in the queue so initially the element uh, there is no element in the queue the queue is empty so i will insert the element i will choose option one so it asks me to enter the element in the queue so first element that i will enter is will be 10 now again i will add another element it will be 20 and again one more element it is 30 now according to my example 
my queue should be full now so if i want to add another uh, element in the queue it should show me queue overflow let's see whether it happens or not i will choose the option as one to insert element to the queue so it shows queue overflow that means no element can be added in the queue anymore now i will display all the elements in the queue which i have entered or inserted so i will choose option three so you can see the queue is 10 20 and 30 so the elements which i entered first it comes in at the first position i entered 20 second time so it came at the second position and element 30 at the last so it came at the last position now i want to delete the element from the queue so the first element that should be deleted uh, should be 10 so i will choose option 2 so say here it shows element deleted from queue is 10 now i will display the uh, the queue with element with the choice 3 now see whether what is the the queue the, the queue is 20 and 30 because the 10 is deleted now i will choose element the option 2 to delete the element from the queue so 20 is deleted similarly uh, i will again delete the element from the queue so here 30 is deleted and again if i want to delete <coughs> it shows queue empty so now the queue is empty so uh, this was the output of the program that I did. Hope you liked the video and uh, if you liked please um, subscribe to this channel for more such videos and if you have any queries please comment uh, and uh, I will answer your queries. Thank you.